Hello and welcome to my channel. Yes, you read it correctly. Today we welcome the return of the cheat polisher. Also stick around until the end of the video, I promise you it's worth it. For those that don't know, I have a review on my channel around a cheat polisher. It is currently my best performing video on my channel and probably why I have a large Filipino audience. I will link the video in the top right hand corner of the video. I wasn't very nice to the product in the video when I was reviewing it. However, a comment caught my eye which said, use this $20 buffer for waxing. It works and makes, and makes buffing fast. From YouTube channel Durano USA Philippines. Firstly, thank you for the comment. I decided to try this out and turn it into a video. So as we can see, I'm using the polisher to apply the wax to the car. Um, I'm also timing my effort. I applied the same wax by hand on my Mustang uh, and it took me 27 minutes uh, to do the whole car. So I'm using the same wax, however, they are very different cars. So let's see how long it takes me to get around this i30. As well guys, if you are new here, can you please hit that subscribe button? Only 3.9% of you are subscribed, so let's bump that up. What I will say is that it did, did make taking the excess wax with my microfiber cloth a lot easier than when it is applied by hand. So that's basically when you apply the wax, um, you buff off with the microfiber cloth, uh, the wax came off a lot easier when I was using the polisher rather than when I was using it by hand. I'm glad that I'm doing this because the polisher was just collecting dust in the corner of my garage, so I managed to get another use out of it. So as we can see, just making my way around the car. I used an Ultimate Compound and an Ultimate Polish from Meguiar's when I first reviewed this product. Um, and yeah, as I said, it is my best performing video at the moment. Um, a lot of people's opinions, uh, a, lot of, a lot of likes, a lot of dislikes. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know, go, go have a watch and let me know what you think. It is an orbital polisher, not a DA. Um, so it is restricted, restrictive, I should say. Right, so we can see that I've done the entire car, just doing the last bit, which is the roof. So yeah, just finishing off the roof when this happens. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not impressed. Ha <laughs> ha. 
have a look at the smoke coming out of that polisher. Yeah, the neighbours weren't too happy with me. I, uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> So yeah, I wanted to show you what I was working with. So this is just me going over the spot where I've just waxed. Um, apologies, because the filming isn't great. Uh, however, I wanted to show you, um, I guess just the bobbling and, and non-smooth application of this polisher. So this is what I was putting up with, unfortunately, uh, that whole time around that car. Yeah, the polisher porpoise is more than a 2022 F1 car. It just doesn't feel like this, this machine is working with you. Um, so yeah, it took uh, 30, 33 minutes to get around the Hyundai. It took me 27 minutes by hand on my Mustang. Um, I understand they are very different cars, so I'm happy to leave it as it took, it, it took the same amount of time. Um, in summary, it was easier to apply as I didn't have to use as much elbow grease. However, it took the same amount of time and it blew up on me. I think I'll stick to hand applications from now on. Like always guys, can you please like, comment and subscribe? It helps the channel a lot more than you can imagine. Also, if you have any video ideas, let me know. Uh, and if you, are, uh, if you are in Victoria and would like to get your car detailed by me, I have left my contact email in the description. Thanks again for watching.